Use this guide to help you apply for your first practicing certificate. Once you have registered for an LSB online account, you can log in to apply for your first practicing certificate. From the homepage of our website, you can access LSB online via the blue button in the top menu or under the four lawyers quick links. Click the login button to sign into LSB online to access the home screen. On the home screen, click the green Practicing Certificates button. You can then select Apply for or Change your Practicing Certificate. You will now see the Practicing Certificate application and variation form home screen. It contains seven sections you need to complete. In the Applicant tab, you'll need to provide details about yourself and the Practicing Certificate you're applying for. Some of your details will already be populated. Please check these are correct and add any missing information. The date practicing certificate to take effect needs to be the same as the day you start work in your position. This date can't be before the day you submit your application to us. Select your practicing certificate type from the drop-down list. Then click next at the bottom of the screen or select the practice contact tab to move to the next section. In this section, you'll need to provide information about where you'll be working and your contact details. You must be assigned to an organisation before you can submit your application. If you don't have a position to go to, you can't apply for a practising certificate. To assign yourself to an organisation, click on the blue Add Practice button. Start typing the organisation name into the first box and then select the correct organisation from the list. The system will automatically populate the practice type and address. If you can't find your organisation on the list, you will need to contact us so we can add this manually. Select the position type from the drop-down list. You will then need to let us know if this will be your primary place of practice. You can have multiple places of practice, and you should answer yes to the place of practice where you spend the most time. Then enter your commencement date. This must be the same day as the date you entered in the first screen for date practicing certificate to take effect, and can't be before the date you submit your application to us. Click continue. You will now see your organisation name and details. If you need to add another place of practice, click on the blue Add Practice button, then repeat the previous steps. You now need to enter your address for service details. This must be a street address. Please be aware that the suburb, state and postcode you enter here will appear on the Register of Victorian Lawyers on our website. You can now choose a preferred mailing address which can be either your address for service or your primary place of practice address. Enter your contact details. You'll receive emails from us to the mail address provided here, so please don't use a generic or shared address. Click Next at the bottom of the screen or select the Eligibility Compliance tab to move to the next section. These questions help us make a decision about whether we can issue you with a practicing certificate. Select your place of residence and principal place of practice from the drop-down lists. If your place of residence or principal place of practice is not Victoria, please view our frequently asked questions before submitting your application. If you're a newly admitted lawyer, your first practicing certificate will have a supervised legal practice condition. This means that you must be supervised while you engage in legal practice. Unless an exemption applies or you have already met this condition, select yes here. For information about supervised legal practice and whether this condition can be removed, view our frequently asked questions. Use this section to let us know about any matters that might impact you being granted a practicing certificate. You only need to answer yes here if there are new matters that we don't already know about. Click on the notes icon for more information about what you might need to disclose here. This section is about meeting your CPD requirements. If you're a newly admitted lawyer or a lawyer registering from interstate, please select I did not hold a practicing certificate during this period from the options. All other lawyers should select yes or no. Click next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. This section is not mandatory, but provides valuable data to the sector. Information provided about areas of practice can be included on the register of lawyers if you consent. Tick the boxes for the areas of law in which you practice or intend to practice. You can tick a maximum of 15. Click Next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. 
This section is not mandatory, but provides valuable data to the sector. Information provided about languages can be included on the Register of Lawyers if you consent. Select your country of birth from the drop-down list. You can also select up to two ancestries. Please type in your ancestry in the box provided if your ancestry is not listed. Please select any languages you speak other than English here. If a language that you speak isn't listed, you can select it from this section. Click Next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. If you're registering from interstate, you must surrender any current practicing certificates before you can submit this application. Once you have surrendered any other certificates, you can select No for the question, have you applied for or do you hold a PC from a jurisdiction other than Victoria? Enter a tick in the declaration box. If you would like to receive communication from the Law Library of Victoria, select Yes. If you would like your information about areas of practice and languages to be included in the Register of Lawyers, select Yes to these consent questions. If you provided these details in the previous section, but select No here, this information will only be used for de-identified reporting. Click Next at the bottom of the screen, or select the Payment tab to move to the next section. In this section, you can make payment for your certificate. A summary of your practicing certificate information will now appear. Click Confirmed, or go back and edit your information if it's incorrect. Your fees will now display. You can pay by BPAY or credit card. If you select credit card, the payment screen will load and you can enter your details. A tax receipt will be emailed to you. If you select BPAY, we'll email you with the BPAY payment details. If you did select BPAY, your application will not be processed until we receive your payment. We can't issue you with a tax invoice for later payment. You need to select either credit card or BPAY here to submit your application. Make sure you click submit to send your application to us for review. If you don't click submit, the application will remain in draft form and you will not get your certificate. Once submitted, we'll review your application and let you know when it's approved. A copy of your application will be emailed to you on submission. Your application will only be processed when we receive completed application form via LSB online, your payment, and notification that your organisation has paid any applicable indemnity insurance.